guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is jasmine hello hi so today i'm going to be showing you how to recreate this look right here it is a cut crease little brown moment it is super cute super fun and other than that i'm going to get on started and show you guys what we did today you see this little movement so that is how i'm feeling but other than that keep on watching okay you guys so i already started on this side of my eye and this is what i ended up with i honestly haven't done like a cut crease in so long so i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do it with the james charles and morphe palette i only used i believe two to three shades okay so i used this shade right here then i'm gonna go with this one a little and then a little of this one but other than that, let's get on started. I zoomed you guys in a little more, but I'm going to be going in with my LA Girl Concealer and just applying that all over my eyelid. And we're just going to be blending that out. And I'm honestly really curious to see how this is going to turn out, like when I have my foundation on and everything, because I'm telling you, I literally do not do this, like, at all. At all. Okay, and sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I left my brushes. Oh, okay, got it. So I'm going to be using this fluffy brush. It's an Anastasia brush that came in the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to be going in with the first lighter shade that I showed you guys. And I'm just going to be putting it on top. So I don't really care too much about putting it in the bottom. If it gets there, then okay, it gets there. But I'm really more focused on having the shade up on top okay so now that i have that done i'm going to be going in with the second darker shade and i'm just going to be applying that right under i don't really want it to get really high up so i am going to be doing it just right exactly under i felt like i used a smaller brush but i do not know what brush So now that I have that done, I'm going to go back in with my other brush and just blend it out. And now I'm going to be mixing the both darker browns. Pretty mixed them together. And honestly, you could leave it like this and call it a day and it looks super cute. I mean, you can't tell me it doesn't. But we're going to be adding a little more. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is cutting the crease. So I'm going to be grabbing a little flat brush and again my LA Girl Concealer. Airplane, you need to get the hell out of here. Okay, so now we're just going to be lining it up with the other one. And you could kind of sketch it out at first color that in it's probably a little smaller than the other one right now but that is okay we're gonna fix that afterwards as long as you have a sketch beforehand so. okay you guys so for the majority of the part i have this narrowed down i'm just gonna perfect it a little closer off camera and i'll be right back once i add a little more shadow that i finished applying i applied some white shadow all over the lid after I was done perfecting the little crease area and I know it doesn't look perfectly white it does look a little more like my skin tone but it is okay because I don't know it's just okay so I'm gonna be grabbing this flat brush like this and I grab the darkest brown and I do just apply a little right above the crease just to intensify the look And I'm applying very little of it. So then when you did all of that, now you can just go over with your little fluffy brush with whatever you have left and just blend it all together. And now that I have that done, I'm, am I, gonna, I am going to be applying some e.l.f. black eyeliner. And I could do like a full eyeliner look, but I want to see how this looks like without eyelash i mean without a winged liner first just because i don't know i just want to see how it looks i've never done that and it's a little different 
So then I'm gonna be applying some mascara and my sister needs to shut that up. up. So I'm just gonna be applying some mascara all over my lashes, prepping them for my falsies. And my second one is already hella overdue. I mean like overdue I mean like she's dry. Okay, and for the most part, they do kind of semi-match. I mean, they're not going to be perfect. They're sisters, not twins. And now I'm going to be grabbing my AliExpress eyelashes. I have a video on where to get them. If you don't know where, you should go watch it. I'll link it down below. Okay, so I'm going to be grabbing both of them out and just apply my glue on them and start preparing them for the slip. So I'm going to be actually putting them on off camera just because I do have a how to put on lashes video. So I'll link that down below if you guys want, if anyone asks. If not, then I guess you guys just don't care. But I do apply that much glue on them and I just do them one at a time. So I do that one first. Oh shit. And then I do the other one. Just because I do like them to be hella tacky. Just because I feel like they're way easier to put on that way. Okay, you guys, so I just finished applying my lashes on. And this is how they look so far. And now I'm going to get started doing my face makeup. So I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation as always. And I'm just applying this everywhere. Ooh, shit. Oh my god, I fucking landed face up. Oh, thank god. I just dropped my freaking foundation. Oh my god, I'm such a freaking dumb. ASS. Oh. oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to be applying this foundation and I'm just going to be blending it out. Oh my god, I can't believe I really just slipped out of my hand. This is why I honestly really enjoy pumps better than like that because that's never happened to me, but it kind of. So be careful. Okay, I really applied the lightest layer ever because that scared the living shit out of me, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna be. Applying some foundation. Oh, that was honestly terrifying. Okay, so hopefully you guys like how this is turning out. I honestly, I'm pretty like digging it. Like it looks pretty good so far. Maybe I'll start doing like little cut creases more often, but I feel like it does take a lot of patience. So, okay, I'm applying this everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna be applying the shade porcelain, and I'm doing that right under my eyeballs and I'm doing it down the bridge of my nose forehead and chin I think that should be enough under my eyes usually I put a little more but I'm trying to cool it down a little and I'm gonna have my Cody Airspun ready to go once I get that out to bake everywhere and I'm just going to be blending this out Okay, you guys, so I just finished blending out all my concealer, concealer and I'm going in with my Cody Airspun powder. And I'm just applying that all over the face. Now that I have that down, I'm going to be going in with my bottom eyeshadow just because it is a little quicker. And I'm going to be going in with the same two shades that I used for my top eyeshadow where I actually, well, I actually use three but I'm gonna be going in with this one right here and I'm going in with that one fluffy so I'm gonna be going in with this shade right fluffy come here come here why are you crying get on top oh my god fluffy don't okay so I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here and then this shade right here oh my god if literally I'll assume this Fluffy, chill. Look, the people want to see you, Mama. So now that I have 
that done, I am going to be going in with my bronzer, my Bobbi Brown bronzer and stone sheet. And we're just going to be going down the bridge of our nose very lightly. Connecting it a little to our brow area and I'm just going to be doing the tip. So that's one side down and let me do the other one. So now I'm going to be going in with the same bronzer and just applying it on my cheek bones. I'm going in very lightly at first. So we're going in with the MAC blush in the shade Melba. And now the last thing I'm going to be doing before I actually forgot I'm going in with my Cody Airspun again and a dry blender. I'm going in with my Huda Beauty palette and you guys already know the shade I use. It is this gold one right here. And I just put that down the bridge of my nose. And I do leave a little gap because I hate it. I hate it personally when girls just do it straight down. Like it doesn't look cute. So now what I'm going to be doing is dusting out the base because I don't like it sitting for too long because then it gets too dramatic. And now we're just dusting any powder off and we are basically done. I do have a little dot right here and I kind of want to fix it but I'm also really lazy. But you can't really tell from far away. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is off my lips and I'm just gonna be going in with some Aveda lip shine this is the finish look I am gonna be applying some setting spray off camera but I'm really hungry I want to go eat so this is a finished look and this is how it turned out Hopefully you guys liked it. I honestly really love how it turns out. I feel like I haven't been wearing eyeshadow a lot and I'm kind of getting back in my zone again. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. But other than that, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, you guys.